Hey guys, Insomni here with some more AFK Arena. Today we're gonna do our speed run through the Howling Wastes. Um, I go ahead and edit out all of the battles. As you can see there, we have one red chest, a bunch of additional chests there. So we'll go ahead and we'll get into the run. Should take about five minutes with edited battles. As you see, you just slide to the right here, um, take out this first little camp. We'll go ahead and collect our relics, trying to do a lot more damage. This one is not very difficult. There's not really that much to it, especially when you know the route. So I will show you the fastest route that you can go through here. Um, once you hit this point, I curve around to the left to pick up the other three relics, just because I like to stack the relics towards the beginning. That way it makes all of the battles, especially the last boss battle, a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead, we'll three out, clean out these three camps. If you look to the left, there's two actual little carts that you can move. We'll go ahead and move those right now. That way we don't have to do it again. So this is the first railway switch to move your um, ice laser. This is the second one on top. Go ahead and slide both those over. Pick up the last chest right on the top, which makes it very, very easy. And now we'll go back to the railway cart here. Um, slide it up one so we can actually turn off our fire laser or red laser towards the bottom. Clean up the, the bottom right portion of here. As you can see, it just kind of maps right around where to go. So we'll clean out all these and then we'll actually swap our laser towards the bottom in just a minute and continue the path. So once you've completed kind of this first section, um, you don't come back to it. It's not like you have to swoop all the way back to hit lasers, um, flip switches, nothing like that. Once you complete this little first part, that's pretty much it. So here we'll go back to the railway cart that we had just moved a moment ago. Um, we'll actually move it all the way down. So the railway or this little, that little piece, I, I think like a pointer, I guess, hits the one in the middle to turn off those two lasers and then move all the way to the very left side with another common enemy. Camp, again, it'll just kind of map right around where to go. And the first part of this is done. So coming up to the second part, exactly the same. Um, it's just diverting lasers with a little diverter. I'll, I'll go ahead and call it a diverter. Um, so this one will actually swap the railway cart down, which will turn off this little ice one, as you can see there. We'll clean up the camps on this left-hand side. Make sure when you go to this left-hand side that you move this cart. This is what I missed the very first time that I did this. Um, sliding this cart from this very left-hand side, it's the only way that you can get to it. But once the cart is slid over, um, it opens up the way in a little bit, which you'll see just in a couple minutes. Again, I move around right to the top to clean up all of these camps towards the top, and we'll get a treasure chest here. You don't have to kill all of these camps. As you can see, there's three here. I do take out all three camps because, again, I want to make sure that I have enough power with the relics that I'm accumulating um, to go ahead and finish this with ease. So once we get our chest here, we'll swap down and block this little blue laser with the railway switch. So now we have an open path. Um, using the railway switch again, we have to turn off the blue laser in the top. So moving the cart over just one will open this way. And this is why we moved the cart originally. So again, swap the cart over. Now we are able to access the entire top of the map. And at this point, we're already almost done with the howling wastes. So very kind, very short um, voyage, but I love the chests. I love the heroes that we're getting out of here and the rewards that they're giving for this. So here we'll go ahead, we'll swap the railway cart up, hit the blue switch here to open up our pathway out of this place. Railway cart will continue to move up, so move it up twice more until the beam is actually shooting to the right, as you can see there. Run over here and we will move our final cart, and this is actually the final part of the voyage. So once we get the blue laser to actually... So if you hit this little railway switch here, it'll bring both of them together, just like we've seen in the last voyage. Um, if you hop through the portal to get to the other side, you can slide both of these down. And now the final way is open, the path up and to the right. These are the final battles, and this is our final chest to conclude the Howling Wastes. Like I said, a very, very quick voyage, but definitely worth the rewards. A ton of rewards in here. Um, 12 gold chests, one crystal chest, which does contain a choice hero or faction scrolls if you want to go there. Being this the Lightbearer account, 
I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Belinda, which will give me the final copy for my five-star Belinda. So very, very excited for the Lightbearer account. This is the account I usually do all of the um, voyages with just because it's really quick to go through it because the team is just so overpowered with the light bear. But that is the final battle. You have Cecilia and you have Mizoth. We'll pick up our last chest. Always continue the adventure. I never finish the adventure just by chance if we did miss a chest. I always pop out, check out the Howling, howling Waste. We got all of the chests there. So we are completely done. We'll take a quick look at our red chest here, which like I said, um, you have Belinda, you have Verk, you have Laika. Laika and Belinda are two very, very good choices. Um, Wukong, always. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like I said, we're going for Belinda on this one, which will give us our final copy. Very, very quick speed run, under six minutes. And thank you for watching.